Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Been a while. Uh, I've been very busy doing the toads. They're almost finished. Uh, I got one completely done. The rest of them just need the finishing jobs. They'll be done and hopefully I'm shooting for Monday, send them out. I mean, most likely they'll be done by Monday. But uh, there's a bit of an addition to the uh, the knife. As you can see, there's a pouch here uh, that Brian's wife actually made and uh, they're pretty freaking awesome. Uh, so it's a nice fleece pouch and uh, it's got my logo down here in the corner, a nice little patch. Uh, the knife, of course, is inside. It's got a little skull bead on it, a little plastic skull bead, a nice elastic core here. It holds it nice and tight. And on the inside, you got the uh, infamous background from when I used to make good videos. Uh, and of course, on the inside, this is the first out of the uh, completed carbon fiber war toads. So this one is uh, just regular carbon fiber, uh, blacked out hardware, which I got for probably most of them. Uh, the backspacer is Anzo pattern, same with the spine. And uh, this one is really cool. This one's different. I'm, there's probably gonna be two or three of these. This one is two-tone, so it's got the like the hand rub polish on the top there, and the acid washed uh, grinds, and uh, it's hollow ground on this one, so it's really sexy looking. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of hollow ground, but for a knife of this size, it's definitely definitely totally acceptable and uh, blacked out hardware on this side as well and uh, some of these the patterns actually coming down onto the tank too it's gonna be really cool I'm really happy with uh, what I'm seeing so far but uh, this is the number one one out of there I just finished it up yesterday just to get one done because uh, I do them all assembly line but I wanted one finish at the end of the day just to see you know for this hollow ground one how they would look so there's a uh, one more cliff in there too uh, which will be different um, and yeah, so Monday I'll be sending them out to Blade HQ. You'll, you'll probably see a video on Sunday, uh, maybe Monday morning, uh, before I send them off. Uh, I'm gonna am I'm gonna ride my bike up to Blade HQ because uh, I don't trust any any postal service in any way. So either that or I'm gonna you know take my hovercraft, whatever. So yep, that's that's that guy. So you can get them in the pouch. And the people that bought the first 15. Uh, uh, if you could contact me, uh, text me or something, and uh, I will send you a pouch for it, because uh, you know they're just a lot better than the plastic bags that they came in. That was my bad, guys. I I just basically wanted to get them out, and uh, you know the pouches are pouches, but you know I knew I was going to have to do this anyway, and uh, I'd just make it up to you guys by sending it out to you. Um, so yeah, you have a nice little tough knives pouch there. So anyway, I got a few pimp jobs. Uh, what do I got here? Oh, also, also the the uh, tough Tanix. Uh, the the titanium is there. Uh, the steel has been changed to N690. Uh, there was a lot of testing done at Alpha Knife Supply with uh, S35, and uh, they weren't happy with the results. And I trust them. Uh, and they've never steered me wrong, and they recommended I go with something different. My second choice was N690. Uh, my experience with N690 is absolutely amazing stuff. Uh, so I want to go with that. Uh, it's a good steel for what I want this knife to be used for. Uh, and it's pretty damn corrosive resistant, which is my favorite thing about it. But as you can see in this guy, I put the black hardware on there too. Looks a little nicer. But uh, with these, um, I got these yesterday. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, if they're roller thrust bearings or racer bearings or something. But I like these a lot because they're not... Um, let me see if I get the other one. Yeah, I'm not a real big fan of these. I mean, they're very smooth on the ZTs, uh, but I just don't trust them. They're plastic, and the ball's in there, and I've opened plenty of ZT560s and seen the uh, corroded, rusted to hell, and plastic chipping, and, you know, it's not my thing, so... Uh, and also the other option was these, they didn't have them, but uh, I, I, you can see this one, uh, it's actually pretty crusty inside there, so that doesn't make me too happy, but these are freaking awesome. I mean, they're long rollers, they're completely solidly encased, uh, just really smooth, a lot of little rollers around it, just super smooth. So I think these are going to work out really nicely. Not every single one will have these on it. A few will, a few won't. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get some more. Otherwise, I gotta get a really good deal on them. So these will be on there as well. 
Um, there are a couple slots for these left, and I'm not offering to anybody yet. I will call some people, uh, a couple people that uh, I want to have them. You know, just uh, just as a courtesy for being a return customer and uh, or some friends. And uh, yep. So at the first run's done, second run will will start up, and the tough ta uh, tough ones will be uh, hopefully right along with them. So the price should be less for these to get made after the first run, as as usual. So uh, next up, got a couple pimp jobs. Uh, first up, this is a refurbish uh, for Brandon. Uh, he got he bought this uh, after the guy got it pimped, and I uh, wanted me to just basically uh, touch it up a little bit, and uh, the tip was a little messed up, so. Uh, not my doing, but you know, I can see right here. It grinds nice and nice. No problems with that anymore. Uh, I touched up the pattern because when I did this pattern a long time ago, uh, it was the Dremel and a lot of scratches, so now it's a lot smoother, a lot more flawless. Uh, pivot screw has been polished up. Uh, one of the liners has been. Uh, Nicely bronzed, anodized uh, pivot screw on this side, and uh, pot clip was switched to the other side. Uh, basically, just refurbished it, and uh, now it's nice and perfect. I like it. And also for him, this is a Kershaw OD1. Great little little uh, budget knife. I love it. It's fun to action on it. Great to play with. Uh, but this one I agreed to do uh, without knowledge of uh, the milling inside of it, which was a pain in the ass, so, you know. And uh, this one has the gray and black G10, nice and contoured. And my first little uh, trial mill pattern on it, just a couple passes with the, uh, just a, a ball bit on there. And uh, just nice little uniform pattern. Just kind of brings the colors out. It's cool because it's just, you know, nice and uniform. Sorry about the noise, guys. We've got cars going by like crazy. The garage door's open. So yeah, that's my first little mill pattern on there. Uh, just nice and clean. Adds a little bit more girth. Feels real comfy. A little bit of traction there. Just awesome. Nice, clean little gentleman knife now. So, Brennan, these will be coming out to you. Uh, what else have we got here? So I did this one a while ago. Like two weeks ago, was it? Yep. And uh, this was for Brian. He couldn't help himself. Uh, of course, this was a regular XM18 3.5 inch, and he comes over today. He told me there was something wrong with it, and uh, he had to regrind the blade. So, basically, put it on his Hellfire because he's a bastard. So, <laughs> it's a very nice knife right there. Uh, as you can see, the pot clip's been nicely anodized blue. Just a nice, deep blue color. Uh, same with the spacers. But this one. Uh, you guys saw the other Timascus scale. That is really nice. It's a different kind of Timascus. This one here. Really gorgeous, but less layering, I guess you'd say. Uh, and this one, yeah. But this one has a, uh, what was it? Does it have a name to it, or was it just regular white Timascus? White raindrop. White raindrop. Yeah, this one turned out probably the, the sickest looking Timascus I've ever seen. You might have saw it in his video. It's B done. You see, it's like lighter right here, and it kind of just radiates and gets darker and more, more deeply colored around the uh, outskirts of it. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. It's got the nice natural pattern on there. It's some thinner, thinner stuff, so I basically had to uh, thin out the pattern a little bit, which looks really nice on it. It's really high polished, just gorgeous, especially on a Hellfire here. So this knife's probably worth about eighty thousand dollars now. Is that how much you paid for it? Give or take a thou. Give or take a thou. Nice and smooth. Yep, that one's sexy as hell. Um, I have a knife coming. Uh, apparently all the knife makers are sending out all their custom knives everybody ordered right now. Uh, so I got a Hoback coming. Uh, it's a very special one. I'm excited to get it. Uh, it'll be the first time I ever got a knife directly from a maker after being on a list. Uh, 
So that and then possibly the new direware. Probably not though. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, for the most part. That's pretty much it. Uh, the toads have been taking up a lot of time, and uh, I spent a whole day working on the mill, getting it working good, and learning how to use it. Uh, just basically been just really lazy and just sitting around watching TV. You know, just watch Game of Thrones and catching up on the soap. Yeah, office. no, I'm kidding. No, I've been out in the shop uh, just toiling and uh, working my butt off, buying parts and everything, and working on the. Uh, the tough tannics, making sure they're good. Uh, so, yep, once the steel gets there, which should be probably Monday, uh, they'll be cut out and uh, we'll start seeing them roll out in videos. Probably get a video when the parts come and everything. What's this guy's? Uh, Brad Blount. Brad Blount, yeah, this, this thing's awesome. I got an instant want list knife now. I saw uh, Dietz got this, Alex Dietz. Uh, he's got that Bieber fan page videos. Um, right, the Justin Bieber fan, super fan. Just kidding. This is the smaller one. This is gorgeous. Uh, he's a newer knife maker, and this is his first frame lock, and it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Just super smooth. I love it. Nice finish on it. Really nice, dirty stone wash on there. Looks gorgeous. Nice low ride clip. Good jimping. Everything's perfect. Really smooth action on it. Very quiet. Brad Blount, and what's this? What's this go for from him? Uh, four. Four hundred, and it comes in how many sizes? Two, two or three. Mm. Well, the new ones are called Surges. Surges. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the one that Alex Dietz got. So check out his channel if you want to see so that the one. New ones have the uh, larger pivot and that lanyard pin that rotates out from the. Top yeah, there's side. something about the lanyard pin. Uh, I was watching uh, Alex talk about. It. I don't really know exactly what's going on there, but apparently it's. Yeah, you see that just like. Just tap it. It's really nice. I'm probably going to try to trade something for this. Just kidding. And uh, for all you uh, big money collectors, if you're interested, I'm thinking about selling the WR Prometheus. I got another one on the way. Um, and I just don't carry it because it's so nice. It's such a perfect knife. I'm going to try to keep it, but depending on like how my money goes with uh, the, the, the uh, tough Tanix, um, I'm, I'm okay, but you know, I don't like to ever be in the red. So like, you know, these, my knife collection is there to help me out when I need help. Uh, they're, they're great to have, but I mean, you know, sometimes, um, having better equipment or, you know, doing stuff like, you know, you know how it is. But I don't really want to sell it, but I will sell it for the proper price. And it is not cheap, and I do not want to get rid of it, so I'm in no hurry. But if you're super interested and you want to make me an offer, let me know. Um, these things are, you know, pretty expensive, so not too much. It's just gorgeous, perfect. Maybe I'll just start carrying it, and then I won't want to sell it. Anywho, and then, uh, what do you got now? Right here, got a anonymous finished frame lock folder here. Uh, this one he let me borrow, check it out. Uh, he's got his, uh, his uh, tree bark pattern on there. Well, I don't know if it's his, but it's like a scratch pattern, sorta. Of. And uh, it's anodized a little bit bronze, sandblasted, just slightly polished off, uh, blasted an acid wash blade and pivot screw, which is a really nice screw. Nice, everything is done by him completely. Everything was machine. You know, some of it was machine made, but the only thing that he bought were these three uh, screws right here. Uh, tolerances are perfect. I've seen him work on these things for two years now. And uh, they're awesome. This one's uh, CTS XHP, which is a fantastic steel. Lockup's awesome, super smooth. Um, it's got a nice angle to it. His whole concept is to have clearance there. You know, when you're uh, cutting something, you have full clearance. And uh, this one's got a nice, nice flat grind on it. Scandy looking. That's very, very comfortable. This is uh, 650 I believe he's selling this one for. Uh, if you're interested, uh, I would like to have it myself, but, you know, I got I got better knives from better makers coming, so I need this crap. I'm just joking. And as you can see, Anonymous, there's his name there, John Gray. Uh, if you look him up on the internet, he's a... 
crazy guy. But yep, these are, he's got a lot of these made and uh, you know, I just figured I'd throw this out there. They're gonna be some on a couple websites. I'll probably put links to it and show them like later on, but this one is my favorite one. I really liked it a lot and he let me borrow it, check it out. It's brand new. I haven't really carried it or anything like that because he doesn't want me to scratch it. Because if I scratch it, how would I ever fix any of the finishes on it? It would be impossible. So, if you guys are interested, any of you, you want to get one of the first runs, uh, I'm not sure what he calls it. I know he used to call him the Thuck, uh, but I don't, I don't think he calls it that anymore. Uh, it's a very nice knife, though. Full tie, tie back, uh, pot clip, standoff, slow through. It's a nice knife, definitely a nice knife. I really like it. If I saw it and I had the money, I didn't know him. I would probably be very, very interested in getting it, but since I know him, I don't want it at all. I'm joking. Am I being mean here? Just a little. Just a little bit? Yeah. I'm just joking. Nah, he's a good friend, so. Yep, anyway, guys, have a great day. Uh, I'll be rolling out the Toad videos this weekend. And, uh, yep, peace.